Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mark. Okay, um, it's July. We're deep in Corona season. Uh, it's not getting better. And I want to sort of give you an update on my thoughts and where I think we're at and what we can do and um, some of the controversies because I posted something on Instagram yesterday that got a lot of flack. <laughs> Uh, and the flag was focused around mask wearing and vaccines. And I just want to clarify my perspective so everybody really understands. Uh, now, I'm a doctor. You all know that because I'm Dr. Mark. And I'm very focused on science uh, and, and want to really understand the truth based on what we can tell from the science. And science isn't perfect. We don't know everything, but we can draw some good conclusions. And when we marry that with common sense, I think we can come up with some pretty good strategies for what to do. So just a little background where we're at, and I'm gonna get into one, uh, what is the science of masks? What is the science around vaccines? Uh, where are we at overall with coronavirus? And also maybe a little bit about uh, something I'm concerned about, which is post COVID syndrome and why it's really important for us to protect ourselves. So first of all, uh, we're, we're doing a terrible job in America. There's no there's no way about denying that. We are number one in the world with COVID cases at over 3.4 million. We have the most COVID deaths of over 134,000 in any country. Uh, the rates of COVID uh, are extremely high in terms of the increasing levels of COVID over the last uh, month, particularly the skyrocketing rates across the country uh, in new areas, not just New York and New Jersey, but in Texas, Arizona, Florida, California. Uh, and we're really struggling to to get a foothold on on helping to solve this. Um, so uh, I encourage you to try to listen to me and uh, not react uh, because uh, I think there's a lot of emotions here, and you know I I just I just want to create a, a conversation. Um, and and I, I was sort of a little surprised by the level of reaction to my post about suggesting that people wear masks. So let's just sort of tackle that first. Uh, first of all. There is a fair bit of science about wearing masks, both uh, from before COVID on influenza and even after. Uh, clearly, uh, masks aren't perfect. They don't protect you completely and they don't protect other people completely. But they do reduce uh, the risk of uh, spreading infection by sixfold in one study. This is 600%, which is no trivial amount. Uh, and we see in states where there has been a lack of mask use, there's been an increasing amount of COVID. Um, and today, even on both sides of the aisle, there's universal agreement to use masks. President Trump uh, came out recently on the news and said he's all for wearing masks. Vice President Pence is wearing masks. Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, leader is encouraging everybody to wear masks. Governors around the state both Democrat and Republican are urging mask wearing, although it's not universal. And um, let's just go for the science and we can talk about the moral aspects of it. But the science is very clear that if you wear a mask, and I think surgical masks are better, uh, cloth masks are okay, but surgical masks can reduce uh, infection spreading by 60 to 80 percent. It also it can reduce your risk of getting COVID as well. So um, it's both for you and somebody else. In other words, if you if you want to understand the major reason for mask wearing, it's not necessarily to protect you. Um, just as we don't want drunk drivers driving drunk, they can get drunk in their home. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. But when you get on the road and you're putting others at risk, uh, there's a moral obligation. Yes, we all have individual rights. We have a constitutional right to, to do what we want in most instances, except in one case where we harm others. And the data is so clear on this, that we harm others by not wearing a mask. Why? Because we spread COVID-19 through aerosols and droplets and our breathing. Just talking releases these aerosols. You don't have to be coughing, you don't have to be sneezing, and it releases aerosols. Now, you say, well, people know if they're sick, they should wear a mask on if they're sick. But 60% in some studies of COVID transmission is in pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic people. Now, this is really <laughs> important to understand. There is, there is transmission even before you know you have COVID. And I just, I just seeing some of the comments here, and, and, I, and I just want to be interested in this. I'm not sold out to any company or the pharmaceutical industry or mass manufacturers. I, I just have no financial interest or no motivation other than 
to provide information to help myself and my patients, my community, and the people listen to me. So I, I think the, uh, you know, it, it just it just makes me sad that this is so polarized. So if you're listening and you're thinking masks are a hoax or a conspiracy, um, listen, at this point, everybody's saying we're wearing masks. The CDC, the World Health Organization, the President of the United States, Republicans, Democrats, Fox News, CNN. I mean, everybody's on board with wearing masks. The reason there was a concern at the beginning was there wasn't enough masks for healthcare workers. And that was a big fear. But that was really the reason for